So I was talking with Gary on stick, and we actually agreed somewhat, which was nice, boring for everybody. And then he started screaming. I know people like that. But anyway, um, and so Gary is one of these people that just thinks it's the word spirituality. It's just permission for a lot of crazy, fucked up shit. And he cites examples of what I would call spiritual dysfunction. And that really gets to why I do not want to forget about spirituality and psychology or philosophy or in general. And the reason is because I do believe this is a biological function. I use the example of lust. We have lustful feelings. We don't necessarily know why. We have spiritual feelings. Don't necessarily know why. And I think if you ignore your spiritual feelings, you have the same kind of problem that we know arises if you ignore your lustful feelings, right? You will get bottled up lust and you'll get uh, sexual dysfunction. You'll get dysfunction in your lust. And that's what happens with spirituality. So when he points to these like negative spiritual things and the spiritual neuroses or people that sacrifice virgins in that, throughout history and so many cultures, supposedly on for spiritual reasons, well, I consider that a spiritual dysfunction, and I think it comes from ignoring actual spirituality. For example, who does those uh, those sacrifices? Organized religion. Well, when you have organized religion, by that time you have individuals ignoring their spirituality, passing their spirituality over to someone else. That's like passing your uh, sexual freedom over to someone else, to a church. You know, and oh, look at how related the spirituality and sexuality have been. That's what a coincidence. You know, there's a relationship between these feelings and and whether we control them ourselves or whether we give them to someone else to control for us which is impossible and leads to dysfunction emotional dysfunction sexual spiritual and what have you that's why we need to keep spirituality uh, in mind because we have to process our spiritual uh, experiences in a positive way